Good morning, it is uh, Friday, August 3rd, 2012, and here's the GFS model for today. Showers and thunderstorms for the uh, parts of the Mid-Atlantic and Southeast, and uh, rain up across the um, upper Midwest um, because of low pressure. Storm Prediction Center for today, some, um, some general outlooks for the Northeast and um, parts of the uh, Midwest, but uh, slight risk areas for parts of the Southeast and the upper Midwest. For Saturday, a slight risk areas for the Great Lakes and Ohio Valley, and some general outlooks for other places across the Midwest and the Southeast. And for um, Sunday, a slight risk areas with the cold front uh, moving more eastward into the uh, Mid Atlantic Northeast down the Appalachians. And here's the high resolution uh, rapid refresh model for today. Showers and thunderstorms across the uh, Mid Atlantic just pop up more organized. Um, for New York, Massachusetts area, and parts of West Virginia. Now on to the tropics. Here's the National Hurricane Center. I have a couple areas of interest. First off, I'll start with um, the near the Cape Verde Islands, getting a 30% chance of something developing within the next uh, 48 hours. But uh, it's got some high wind shear, about uh, about 20, 30 knots at least. And here's our Ernesto tropical storm, just uh, west now of the the Windward Islands. Um, here's um, the first I'll start with the computer models for the new Invest 90L for the Cape Verde Islands seems to be moving going to be possibly a stronger system um, carried by the upper level winds so probably more of a northwest track north of way north of the islands um, here's the wind shear um, so uh, for Orne Ernesto the winds coming across at about uh, 10 to 20 knots today it should lessen and here's the visible satellite image on Ernesto just uh, just west of the islands now, and but uh, here's the uh, water vapor loop. So pretty disorganized system. You can't really see a, a real good um, circulation. Uh, plus, there's a lot of dry air right in front of it, impacting it from getting stronger. Here's the National Hurricane Center's official forecast track as of 8 a.m. this morning. Um, just west of the islands here, as tropical storm, possibly making it to hurricane strength by sometime on Sunday into Monday, and then possibly hitting Mexico and uh, the Gulf of Mexico uh, by midweek next week. Here are uh, the other computer models as of 8 a.m. this morning. Generally the same kind of forecast track um, into towards the Gulf of Mexico. So, you know, it could be Texas, could be Louisiana, could be Mexico, you know, anywhere in the Gulf of Mexico. People in the southeast states should watch out for uh, later next week. Here's another forecast model, um, just to give you a perspective on where, when and where this is. This is uh, next Wednesday after, uh, next Wednesday morning. Um, this is between the part of Mexico and Cuba. And winds here seem to be around, um, you know, 60, 70, you know, 80 miles an hour. Um, so just give you an idea on uh, the strength that it, it could become uh, later next week. Uh, so keep it here with me. Please subscribe, make suggestions for future videos, and please comment. Thank you.